culinary king. He is a TV superstar celebrity chef. I love when Vikram Vij comes to visit. Some say Vij, we say Vij. No, that's good. Good to see you. And good it smells <laughs> amazing. My pleasure. Thank We're you. We're making a Thanksgiving turkey with coconut curry because it's always that, uh, you know, what do you do with the leftovers the next day? Exactly. And you know what? We've killed the animal. Might as well eat it. Might as well. Right? It sacrifices so, its life. So the idea is that we've, uh, <laughs> we've we have a little uh, leftover turkey. I started with some ginger, onions, and a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chicken stock. Mm. Right? Once that, one that gets cooked a little bit, then you add a little bit of cloves. Okay, where do we buy this tin? Because this is the secret tin. This is the secret. You know, imagine this. If you were an artist yeah. and you had a, had a palette of colors, this is your color and this is your canvas. Oh, I love so it. So you can create your own style of you, the way you want to do it. Can't go so wrong. these are all whole spices. I've got some ground spices. I'm going to add some coriander to this, a little bit of garam masala, a little chili. Just a pinch. Just a pinch, just to, you know, give it a little flavor, a little bit of salt. Cook that down a bit. And once you cook that down, you would add a little coconut milk to it and then add your turkey, which is left over. To it. Because turkey dries up very quickly. Yeah. So the best thing to do is to soak it in really nice, rich, creamy sauces and that's where the, the flavors will come from. It needs all of that moisture. And you help us out. You have your two packs going right here. This one is the curry chickpea. Yeah. And then this one's the coconut ginger green beans. So you literally drop it into boiling water. You let it boil for how long? Exactly. For like around 20 minutes or so. The idea is that you come home from work, you put a pot of water on, you put these little fresh home cooked curries. Yeah. And then you literally open them up like this. Yeah. And you serve them. And careful when ha handling this, of course, you need cloth so that you don't... Uh, burn your hands like that and then you just you know go out and you just serve it like this it's so easy it's home cooked meals home and cooked chickpeas mm, look april is salivating how are you doing this to our seven month pregnant april kalu exactly get over mm. here april home, home cooked meals you know <laughs> fresh chickpeas she it's uh, mm, that smells amazing careful don't burn your cute little tongue and, so, and also the idea is that you can put these, so two, good, three, right? <laughs> these two or three things together and enjoy really healthy, nutritious meals. And you could add your own uh, vegetables as well into that pre-mix so if, that you get even more if you've if, got stuff in the fridge. If you want or, to, so if you have a little bit of leftovers or something else, just add them to the chickpeas if you want. If you have some turkey that's left over, if you have anything else that's left over. Yeah. But the idea is that you can have this whole meal and have it with a little bit of rice or naan or whatever you want to do. And spice is so good for us, right? Right? A little bit of heat and herbs is really, we were just talking to uh, Bryce Wild who said turmeric is so good for us. You know, every Indian spice here, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, have some form of medicinal value to them. True. There's a science in India called Ayurveda, which means eating according to your body temperature, eating your spices. So if you have your high blood pressure or something, you eat a little bit of fennel water. Okay. Or, or, or so there's always a medicinal value. So if you go to a naturopath, they will always recommend some of these spices right which there. Which you take in every day through the cuisine, which is beautiful. And you've got exciting stuff coming up. First of all, in Vancouver, we know that we can dine as you're the chef and co-owner of Vidges and Rangoli. Also, you will be starring very soon in Chopped Canada. I love the American version. And you're a regular on the panel. Was that fun to make? It was, it was absolutely great. Chopped Canada was one of those uh, experiences that I, I would never forget because it was like so much fun. And seeing these new chefs that are coming in the pipeline, I mean, what a great, uh, you know, talent that's coming through is absolutely amazing. And you know what? Yes, I, you know, I did a lot of episodes on there. But more than that, I think if you look at the panel of the judges that are on there, totally esteemed. They've all honed their skills. And it is going to be a fun show. Might be slightly better than the American version. Ooh, you heard it here. That's some smack talk <laughs> from well, Chef. I'm, I'm just saying that because I know what how how great the show is. Well, and that's the thing. You know, for them to cook for somebody like you who's so, you know, world-renowned is amazing because you're there judging, which is intimidating. And the fact that you're giving them props mean you saw a lot of talent, just as you did when you were starting out. So for more information, everybody, it's vijs.ca, so vijs.ca, as well as at vijs underscore restaurant to follow him on Twitter. You're always in Toronto doing great things for charity. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. That is... May I? Of course. Chef? That's for you to enjoy. So delicious flavors, subtle, 
the mm, the richness mm, mm. of the turkey and the coconut milk works really well with the Indian spices. Now, if you do want to enhance them, obviously you can enhance them with uh, our uh, home cooked meals that are available at a lot of uh, stores now in uh, Toronto. The flavor that you get, you really are such a talent. Continued success. Thank you for feeding us as you do and inspiring us. We'll be back with more BT right after this. But first, I'm going to finish my meal. My pleasure.